Einen wunderschönen guten Abend von Chateau de Colombe hier in saint baudel Frankreich. Uh, herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau. Salut à tous. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in saint baudel And now, as always, to our English-speaking friends mm -hmm. from around the world, welcome to Journey to the Chateau, uh, a new um, episode. And part two of uh, The Bed Crown. Yes, and a lot of little things happening that is... Uh, here around us, uh, right? <laughs> in the chateau. Right. <laughs> Temperatures are changing, right? Yes. Last uh, three, two days of uh, predicted frost. So maybe our entrance hall, which is now down to six degrees, <laughs> uh, will eventually <laughs> heat up. We uh, decided that if the the moment we get to twice the temperature outside that we have in the hall, we're opening all the doors yes, and windows. Yes, because it's be far warmer outside than inside, that's for sure. But yes. we have, I mean, just so that that's clear, we have uh, areas in the chateau, like the, the, the kitchen, the, the room, the dogs um, eat in, uh, our bedroom, bathroom, uh, those are all heated and they have lovely temperatures. So, yeah. I mean, so it's not like we are suffering here. Right, but you know, you do have to travel from one of those rooms to the other, so uh, yes. there is a big temperature change as you walk through the chateau. So it's you, you go from the kitchen when it's really the, the, the stove is really hot, you go from uh, about 20, 22 degrees mm. Celsius, which is about 80, to uh, down to 46. <laughs> it's a really significant drop. So, Chateau Life at its best, it is actually a lot of fun. Yes. So, now, enjoy part two of The Bed Crown. Yep. Okay, so this is uh, now drying. Uh, that will take a while, and it is attached. And I can, but it's since it's not dry, I can't polish it. If I polish it now, um, I would rub the the gold off. So uh, what uh, will happen in a day or so is that I come back and um, hopefully, eventually, we'll find the remaining tools we need for gilding because. I'm missing my, my tray, my knife, uh, a specific um, brush kind of thing that uh, you, you rub on wool or something and it becomes static and the gold attaches to it and you can lay it on very nicely, which I still haven't found. Uh, there are still boxes with art supplies that we haven't been able to go through. Uh, but so this will, I will go back to this polish it and then there will be patina on it see how that looks and um uh because for me this is way too shiny gold um and it needs to be toned down quite a bit so that's the patina okay this has dried overnight and so now i can actually do a bit of rubbing here and what that does is shows me where there are gaps. And the other thing it does, it is actually makes it very nice and shiny. Uh, it's really, it's fascinating. I, I do love this work. Uh, although I'm clearly not the most patient person in the world, this is fun. 
Hi, Stuart. Hello. There you go. Oh, thank you. You're Okay, that's actually pretty nice, or as one can say, so far so good. And we did actually go on an expedition last night to search, and uh, we did find the missing gilding tools, so a lot of areas here where I can now actually work with this agate tool. And get them into the crevices here. It's really nice. And it's sometimes surprising to see what a difference that makes when it's in the crevice is really deep in there, um, what coverage you have. So and it polishes it a bit too. So like here, the rows, I can really get in where I wouldn't normally get in and get that tightened up and cleaned up and all that. Anyway, so here is the gilded part. I'm not done. I'm done with gilding. It is dried. Um, I've wiped, did a bit of wiping over. So now I'm going to buff it and polish it a bit. Uh, so to make sure that all the gold is really uh, attached to it. There are areas where it, you can see, for example, here, where it's still here, there are still loose, uh, there's still leaf, uh, leaf gold that is loose. So that needs to be uh, attached or buffed. So it's nice and ready for the patina. And I'm very excited about that. This is the patina. If anyone's wondering, yes, it is cold in the workshop. <laughs> it's winter. Uh, So this really takes the brightness away. And that's a good thing because uh, for me, it's just, it's too shiny. And I don't quite enjoy um, old furniture where when it's, or pieces, when it's this shiny. Um, so when we make it, want to make it look like it has been around for a couple of hundred years. Uh, nothing looks as shiny as it did when they put the gold on. Now, on the other hand, in, let's just say this was maybe made in the uh, 1860s or 70s, to say something. Of course, when they put it on, it was very shiny. So no matter what you decide, it is absolutely okay either way. So I'm wiping some of this off because you don't want a thick patina, you just want it to look aged. And uh, 
already is. When you compare this area here, where it's been patinaed and rubbed a bit clean, to this area here, where it's very, very shiny. So I prefer it this way. Um, other people might like it when it's more shiny and brighter. And so if you ever get into a position of doing something like this, do it the way you love it. think you wiped off too much you can always apply reapply the patina until you seal it when you're happy with it you put on a sealant and um, then <laughs> well then it's just is what it is so hand gilded crown not painted gilded um, and once this is dry, I will put on the varnish to seal it and then it will go up in the bedroom. Restored the bed crown, gilded it with the wood. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and looks really good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what there isn't anywhere to be found is actually uh, instructions on how to drape uh, bed crowns. Not at all. As uh, at least we haven't been able to find it. So what we're doing is completely uh, trial and error, and we hope it works out. Sure. We are excited, but that it's this is this is all a bit of <laughs> hit and miss. So bear with us.
we are really happy how that all turned out. Right. I'm truly. Yes. Now, there, there, there are two updates, I think, at least. Right. First of all, uh, updates on our indoor bulbs. <laughs> right. Plants. Since plants, not light bulbs. I didn't say light bulbs. No, I know. But bulbs. They are, I said bulbs. <laughs> Did I not say bulbs? <laughs> you can rewind it and see that I think I said bulbs. Anyway, update on the bulbs. Uh, they have grown. Yes, they, yes, they, they yes. have afternoon sun. And they're doing, uh, actually, they're doing quite well. It's, I'm, I'm, we're both really happy about this. And the other update is we are, we have started to do some heavy duty demolition of the kitchen. Right. And we've started actually getting some of the supplies and things. Oh, hello. We're actually starting to get some of the things for the kitchen. We actually got a delivery of the wall tiles. Oh, yes. For the kitchen. Now, unfortunately, the wall tiles is like one of the last things that happens <laughs> when you do the kitchen renovation. But we also liked them twice as much as we thought we would. We did. We got them and we love the way they look and we can't wait to put them up because yes. they're, they're going to look great. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. I mean, it, and we, we are advancing we have the, the kitchen plans. We have the, the, the cabinets mm -hmm. um, uh, in, in, on order. So that's all going to be here in time. The tiles, floor tiles are going to be here in about latest two weeks. Right. Please. And, right. And we are um, starting now getting everything ready. So when the floor tiles get here, we are going to be ready for them. Right? Yes. Yes, we right. are. And right. we will be. And we have um, electrical work that we're going to do. But most of it is, of course, John. Mm -hmm. um, they are in England right now. And I hope you have a safe trip back, you three. And um, so all of that is is on a really good uh Projector. Mm -hmm. Is it a projector? I have no idea. Well, something like that. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and in about two weeks, our new uh, subtractor is arriving. Uh, yes. A subtractor. It's a subtractor. Because it's not it a full tractor. We're not oh, oh, fields, oh. But I thought it, it is a tractor. It sounded like somebody who works on a project and not a contractor, but a subtractor. So, <laughs> Or somebody who, like, does... Minus things and they subtract things and there's a subtractor. Okay. So yes, our tractor basically is coming. Yes, so we're gonna get one and I am so excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I am too. Because because I yes, I because I can't wait to as well to be able to ride that thing and you know the funny thing is is that we're gonna be really excited about doing things like mowing and doing things here at first, I'm sure we are, but you know. Right now, we're really looking forward to it getting here so we can do that. <laughs> On that happy note. Yes. So, we will see you next time. Uh, if you like this episode, please subscribe. Uh, recommend us to your friends and family. That really helps us a lot. And don't forget to watch our Friday at the Chateau this Friday. True. And, and then we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.